Hey yo, and welcome to another round of sports reviews. Tonight we are reviewing Toronto FC 2, DC United 1. Oh, this feels so good. Toronto FC wins their first match of the season. They get the three points, dominating the whole time. A couple of mistakes, a couple of bad moments, but really, that's football. Toronto FC, three points, dominant showing. Goals were scored as follows in the 10th minute. Here's that bad moment. Ball crossed in. Russell Knauss, nobody's there. Luca Petrasso was basically a man alone holding onto a sinking ship while Russell Knauss could just head the ball in, nod it in past Bono to make it 1-0 in the 10th minute. DC gets the opener, but Toronto FC, 14 minutes later, on the corner kick, Luca Petrasso, Takes the corner in, swings it in, ball falls for Alejandro Pozuelo. Three yards out, he taps it in. Easy, goes past the first man, falls for Pozuelo. What a great corner by Petrasso, but Pozuelo with the calm and cool to pop that ball in the net. 1-1, 24th minute, that's the way we're going to halftime. What a half for Toronto. They dominated the whole time. They were the better team. They were so much better. They should have been leading after the half, but hey, that one bad mistake. But Pozuelo, what a goal. What a heads-up play. And what help from Petrasso to put that corner on a platter for Pozuelo. Peach of a corner from Luca Petrasso as well. Got to give him his props. The young boy. Got to give him his props. He's been amazing. Second half. Jonathan Osorio in the 53rd minute. Ball crossed in. Falls for Osorio. He slides in. Taps it in the net. Bill Hamid's already in there. It goes in over the line. Hamid can do nothing about it. It trickles in. 53rd minute, 2-1 to one, TFC. And they hold on for the rest of the game. The game ends 2-1 to one for Toronto FC for their first three points of the season and their fourth match of the season, just like last year. But this year, I don't think we're finishing with 28 points. Stats are as follows. Nine shots to 12. Six shots on goal to five. 50% possession to 50% possession. 427 passes to 415 passes. 73% pass accuracy to 73% pass accuracy, 11 fouls to 20, 4 yellows to 3, 0 red cards to 0, 5 corners to 3. Before we talk about the rest of the match, want to say hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification once you subscribed, hit that join button once you subscribed, $1.99 a month or $4.99 a month to become a YouTube member. Anything's appreciated. Help support the channel. Also send super chats on the live stream. Also thank you for Daniel for that $4.99 super chat right after the live ended. Means a lot. Hit the like button. Comment on this. Put this in playlist. Share this with friends and family. All that great stuff. And let's get into this matchup. Toronto FC. So much better. Toronto FC was a way better team. Just so much better. They were dominant. They put the ball forward. They didn't look like they were caught on the break many times. One bad defensive play, but... That, that's football. Of course, you have one bad play a day, maybe two, and that's what happens. But two to one for TFC. This was their best performance all year. A 90-minute performance, 85, if you want to be honest. An 85-minute performance, but a very strong performance at that for Toronto FC. Deservedly getting the three points. They probably should have won by more, but I said two to one, and guess what happened? Two to one. I told you they'd win today. I had the feeling, and they did it. I knew they were going to win. We, I think we all knew deep down that this was the one, that this was the best game to win out of all four that we started with, besides the Dallas game. And I think we all had that feeling. Now, of course, there was the sneaking feeling that they could have blew it, but they didn't. They, they stayed firm. They stayed strong. They stayed connected. They played the best game of the season, defensively, offensively, midfield, outside backs. Everything was perfect. Everything. Bono even had a good game, and I know that's crazy to say, but he had a good game. They, the defense protected him. That may be the case, but he had a good game. Can't get mad at him. I'd say the first goal was way more on the defense than him anyway. But with that being said, Toronto, so much better. Great runs. They pressed the ball forward. They held possession they held the tempo of the game they didn't let dc try to get a head in get a nod in they knew exactly what they needed to do and toronto did perfect they executed perfectly this team is good they have their moments and i think they took their baby steps and they're learning 
and they're getting gelled and they're learning this system and it's looking great. Once they figured it out, they're looking amazing. And they're starting to figure out what to do under Bradley, what he wants them to do. And it's a freaking show. And this was amazing. This wasn't no grind it out. No, this was amazing. They dominated this game. Should have been three or four for Toronto. They should have put this away around the 70th minute, scored a third or fourth goal. This was how good this match was. It was not what the score line says. Hell, the stats don't really get into it. You need to watch this match because this team was on fire. This team was the best. DC didn't really hear a peep out of them, didn't really see anything out of them besides the first goal, but that was kind of inflicted. That was self-inflicted. Toronto basically shut down DC. Toronto shut them down. Didn't really have them do much. Yeah, they had some possession. They played forward a couple of times. They had a couple of free kicks. But other than that, what else did they have? They didn't have much. Amazing performance by Toronto. What a master class. And I'm so proud of what this team did. I think we all are. We should be. At home, second match at home, fourth match, they put this out. Keep playing like this. This is what I want to see. This is what I know you can be. And they're starting to figure it out. I think we'll be just fine. The reports of our demise were seriously exaggerated. We are just fine. And DC, they may not be the best. They may be, they may be mid. <laughs> but that was a pretty good win against a team that was around what we think our level is. At least right now, pre insigne That was perfect. That was great. We dominated them. That's all I have to say. DC did not show a damn thing to me. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They did not show anything. They basically let Toronto run the game. And they didn't have the possession to back that ideal up. Pretty much. They didn't have the runs and the breaks to prove that as the right decision. To just let Toronto hold and then hit on the break. They did not do right there. And that's the thing. So... Player ratings. For Alex Bono, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Good performance. Solid performance. Did let in a goal, but it really wasn't his fault. But he had a pretty good performance besides that. I'm going to give Bono a 7. Shane O'Neill, 7. Pretty solid as a center back. Didn't really have to make many plays. Solid. Strong. Stout. Did what he had to do. 7. Carlos Salcedo, I'll give him an 8. Carlos Salcedo, Marshaled the defense well, made a lot of saves, played with an injury, and just gutted it out. El Titan is El Titan for a reason. 8 out of 10. Lucas McNaughton, 7. Impressing still. The kid from the CPL. The kid from Pacific FC. Still impressing. What a player Lucas McNaughton is. I love watching him play. He's strong. He's tough. He's something, and he's a prospect for the future. We got to keep this guy if he don't go to Europe. Like, if he... Is an MLS for a good couple of years, like four or five years. That's what I want. Keep him for about five years. Then you go and see. He's already good. Just just wait. Seven. Four. Luca Patrasso, eight. Luca Patrasso is a star. He's a revelation. Luca Patrasso just keeps putting up good performances. Even when we lost to Red Bull, good performance. Lost to Columbus, great performance. I knew Luca Patrasso was good. I knew he was good with TFC too. I thought he was great. I didn't know he transitioned this well though. Amazing player Luca is. And another strong performance from Luca Patrasso. Assist, makes great runs, passes well, great on the ball, composed, mature, wonderful player. I think he's better than Schaffelberg. I really do. I really do. Which is sad. Jonathan Osorio, I'll give a seven. He scored goal. Normal Osorio performance, though. Good in the midfield, putting the ball forward, does what he has to do, by the way. Boom. Does what he has to do. It's Jonathan Osorio away. Seven points. Seven out of ten. Good goal, too. Michael Bradley is six. Again, another normal Michael Bradley game. Stays forward, makes some good passes, defends well in the midfield as long as he doesn't have to run. Simple as Michael Bradley, six. Not bad, just what it is. Caden Chung. Seven. Looked good until he got hurt. Got taken out for injury. Caden Chung, also a revelation from Pacific FC. Great outside back. Not many not many expectations, but he's actually outside back, so that really helps. We were also playing a three back, but seven for Caden Chung. He looked pretty damn good, I have to say. 
Next up, Jaden Nelson. Eight. Pretty good game from Jaden Nelson. Shows off his talent once again. Jesus Jimenez or Alejandro Pozuelo gets an eight. Alejandro Pozuelo with a second, the first goal to tie the game. Playing well. He's starting to get He's starting to get back to his old self. He's starting to get back to what we know he is. I think he's starting to get comfortable with his team, and he trusts them. He's overcoming last year. He's doing well. He looked really good tonight. Got a goal. I'm happy with it. Jesus Jimenez, seven. Always makes good runs. Always makes good passes. He, he's good at holding up the ball. Even though he had no goal-scoring involvement today, whether it was an assist or a goal, he had no points today. Looked damn good. Still, even if he has no involvement, he still looks good, or at least goal-scoring involvement points. He looks good. And I know that's a hockey term, but it's obvious. It works for me. Assists and goals is points, if you don't know hockey. That's a hockey term, but it is okay. See, I like both. I'll interchange both, as you can see with the Leafs-Sabres thing. But Jimenez, even with no point involvement, he's still amazing. Seven. Cozy Thompson, I'll give him a six. Didn't really show much for me while he was on. He kind of was a ghost, but not a bad performance. Jaquiel, seven. Good when he came on. Still has the talent. Looked great. And as well, Achara, seven. Again, looked pretty good on the three subs. Michael, or Bob Bradley, I'm going to rate his managerial job today as an eight. A great game. Made the right decisions. Set the team up perfectly tactically. Great. Great from Bob Bradley. So those are my player ratings as well. Trying to get to those, get to do those this year as well, if you've noticed. I'm not going to make two separate videos for player ratings and review. I could do both at the same time. So with that being said, Toronto was the way better team. DC didn't really show anything for me. Toronto dominated. They were 100% better. They did everything right. And I'm proud exactly what they did. Great home match. Great home win. Player of the match, man of the match for me, Alejandro Pozuelo. Alejandro Pozuelo, he's starting to get back to his old self. He scored a goal, made great passes, crossed well, made great runs. He's back to his old self. Not exactly back to his old self, but I'd say he's about to 2019 level Pozuelo. Like good 2019 level Pozuelo, not tired 2019 level Pozuelo. Not 2020 yet, but he's getting there. He's getting there. He's starting to get back to where he was. I have a faith. I have a feeling. And he looked really good today. Pozuelo's man of the match for me. So with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. Hit that red bell notification once you subscribe. Hit that join button or that link in my description to become a YouTube member. $1.99 a month or $4.99 a month. Anything's appreciated. Help support the channel. Be awesome if you do. Also support by sending super chats. Comment on this video. Super chats and lives. Comment on this video. Put this in playlist. Share with your friends and family. All that great stuff. Next week, on Wednesday, I have a CONCACAF World Cup Qualifiers Match Week Window 5 predictions. Last window of CONCACAF qualifying. I will see you then on Wednesday, but we'll take a short little break. And we'll have a little bit of a break here. So I hope you enjoyed this game. Hope you enjoyed this video. And let's have some fun. Play Gloria. Another one for the good guys. I'm Ryan, and I'm out. Peace. See you later.